Hello, my name is Gwen, and welcome to your practice. If you have a block at home, go ahead and grab it. And if you don't have a block, that's okay. You can use a blanket. You can use a bolster, a cushion, or an encyclopedia. So just so that when you bring your feet on top of that, and you look at your knees, that they're a little bit higher or the same height, thereabouts. So that when you nestle your back into the chair, and maybe some of you might want to come forward just a wee bit, you can notice the comfort level. A little bit different than having your feet down so that the femur bone, the upper leg bone, can come a little bit heavier into the socket. And then have your hands down if you're on the cool side and or up in that non-grasping gesture if you're a little bit on the warm side. So wherever you are feeling and sensing now your body as you close your eyes. So notice how you're seated. Is the torso a little bit forward? Go ahead and as you close the eyes, feel the subtle sensations of the sit bones evenly coming down a little heavier when the shoulders stack right over the hips. And so today's practice to pause in peace and ask for guidance. And we'll let the subtle sensations in our body be our guide today. So as we pause here, feel all the subtle sensations of the sit bones coming down, the feet where they're placed, all the way up to the knees, to the hips, upward to the shoulders, all the way up into the center of the brain. Notice your starting point in the mind, what you've brought into your practice, what it took to get here. And as we close the doors to the outside world, this internal environment, this internal landscape will unfold breath by breath today. So go ahead and take another deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And one more cleansing breath like that in through the nose and listen to that exhale. in through the nose now and out through the nose as we dive into our ujjayi breath which translates as victorious. So as we breathe in and out through our nose feel the subtleties of this breath. As we cultivate this victorious feeling from the inside out now this prana, this vital life energy that charges up the body, brings in that joy, this happiness, as we gain this oxygen advantage. So have some fun in your practice today. Let yourself be playful. Know that there is no right or wrong if you feel wobbly, notice. If you feel like you'd like to stay in a pose a little longer, please do. So you can have some music on if you'd like, your favorite music, and enjoy. So as we breathe here in and out through our nose, let's dial it up just a little bit through our awareness. On your next natural inhale, Carry those inner eyes, that inner witness, all the way downward into the earth, our earth star. 
gather that earthiness as you exhale all the way up above the crown into that light. Inhale, we bring that light, this energetic quality, all the way down into the earth. Charge up that earth star. And we bring and carry that earthiness, that grounded, beautiful, connected energy up. And let them mingle now through our bodies, this conduit between heaven and earth now. Inhale. We carry our awareness down. As you exhale, go ahead and float it all the way up. Notice how you feel as we start to align with our true nature, our true self. We pause here in peace and we breathe together into our satnam, our true identity. So how about two more breaths just like that? Inhaling, carry your awareness down, gather all the way up, carry it up, gather that light, let it mingle on the inside. And one more. And as that breath flows out, follow it. Let yourself rest here and feel the subtleties of your breath work, of your pranayama. And as you pause here, feel the subtle sensations in the shoulders, downward into your comfortable seat, into the feet. And one more breath, just like that. And then go ahead and take the feet off of your block. Place the hands on the kneecaps, widen through the fingers and then wrap up those knees like hooks. On your next natural inhale, pull the heart through for cow. And as you exhale, come into that cat position. So we'll come into cat and cow now. Inhale chin up, open up the throat. As you exhale, chin to chest, round and tap the chair. Maybe press into it. Have some fun. Inhaling, coming into that crescent shaped back bend. Exhale, we round. Carry your awareness into the shoulders as you inhale and open up, broaden and widen. As you exhale, shoulders towards each other, we round. Notice how you feel rocking on the sit bones like this, opening and closing the shoulders and moving the spine for two more. Eyes are closed so that you can witness from the inside out now. And one more. You'll pause in that rounded spine and let the head slowly, slowly curl up and sit up. Feel for a moment what's just occurred, the effects of your practice. All those subtle sensations, let them guide you. Go ahead and thread one arm right in front of the belly and hang on to that outer leg. The other arm, all the way up, up, up. And then sway over to the side. Playfully now, let the one sit bone become heavy and then the other. Notice the sound of your chair if it's as loud as mine, <laughs> creaking, having some fun with that. So noticing how you feel as we sway. And where does the nose want to point? Maybe downward, maybe a wee bit upward where the wall meets the ceiling. And how about one more breath, just like that. 
and then you'll come all the way up sitting up pause for a wee moment feel the shoulders through the collarbone the back body and then we'll come over to the other side by threading the arm right in front of the navel hanging on clasp either the chair or the outer leg and let the other arm come up as you start to sway feel now how gentle can you be with your body today as we move like this? Can you feel like you're moving through water? A fluidity of the arm, the shoulder, the spine. And what's it like to point the nose down? What's it like to point it where the wall meets the ceiling? And how about one more like that? And then pause seated. Feel from shoulder through the collarbone to the other shoulder. From the shoulders down the back body. And one more breath just like that. Oh. And then we'll come a little bit closer to the front of our, our chair, but still really nice and stable. We'll come into a half star. So go ahead and bring one leg right out to the heel and the arm out and then draw it back in. And again, same side, out and then in. And then close the eyes and feel the muscles responsible for this action and then bring it back. And we'll come on over to the other side. You bring it out, nice and tall through the spine, and then in. And then out. Notice how you're breathing here. Come to the ujjayi breath and allow that core line to hold you through this breath. And then in. And how about both now? Let them come out. And then in. Out and then in, option to do one at a time, or both at the same time, out, and then in. And now you bring the legs out, but drag them in just a wee bit into your goddess. So the feet are now um, down on the mat, the heels are down and the toes are outward. Arms up in a cactus shape, and we'll come in and out of that now. So drag the heels to your star, drag them back to your goddess pose. Two more like that. Star, close the eyes, and back to goddess. One more, drag those heels to star, and then back to your goddess. Beautiful, and then rest that effort and notice how it feels. Let's come into a waterfall forward fold. So go ahead and bring the fingers on the inside of the knees. Let the heart guide the way down. The back of the heart will guide the way up. So take a deep inhale. As you exhale, heart guides the way down. Head becomes heavy. Back of the heart guides the way all the way up. You take a deep inhale at the top. Exhale, waterfall down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then inhale up. And one more for good luck. All the way up. Let yourself rest there. Your block. Bring it over to the side of your chair where the, the leg of your chair is. And then swivel to the other side so that your toes are pointed in that direction. The other leg that's hanging off the chair is going to come back where the knee places right down onto the block or whatever you have there. You can come into that knee and position yourself 
rolling forward and back, side to side, as you hang on to the chair. So get yourself comfortable and notice this low lunge. We'll bring this into um, a nice crescent lunge. So let's go ahead and bring the arms up like warrior one arms. So play, maybe they come wide and then you can bring them back. Go where it feels better. Walk the eyes up the wall to where it meets the ceiling and then all the way up to the hands. Take a deep breath there with an arcing spine and then relax all the way down. Whew. We're going to come into side angle now. So this back leg, lengthen it back so the knee comes off and then notice how the foot comes down into the mat. You can stay where you were if that's better and bring your elbow all the way down. Look down. The other arm reaches up and over. Take a deep breath looking down and then open up the heart to the side and look up to the elbow. Press through that back heel, lengthen through the shoulder to the elbow. Take a deep breath and then let yourself come out of that. The back knee comes down and then go ahead and come into crescent shape all the way up, look up and then all the way down. Let yourself come all the way back to seated. Take the block to the other side and then rest for a brief moment here with the hands on the lap. Feel the sit bones all the way up through the heart, through the shoulders to the middle of the brain, nice and tall. Feel the subtle sensations as we pause. And we'll come on over to the other side. So go ahead and spin the body over to the other side. Hang on to the back of the chair and place that other knee down. And then you can share the workload by feeling the knee press and shimmy over to the edge where it feels better. And then from here, let the arms come up while you look forward, widen, and then bring the arms back where the shoulders feel so good. Walk the eyes up the wall to where they meet the ceiling. Remain there or all the way up between the hands. Feel the arcing of the spine. Feel the body breathe. And then allow the hands to come down. From here into our side angle pose. So when you're ready, slowly let yourself come forward and rest that right, the front arm, elbow on the knee. Feel the back leg lift and then come over where the heel can press down. From here, the back arm comes up and you can watch it come all the way around. Look down for a breath or two Remain there or open up the heart, looking at the fingers, maybe the elbow. Another deep inhale as you press into that back foot nice and strong and you exhale. And then slowly bring that knee back into the block as you set up, arms come up, you look forward and then up. Take a deep breath and then ah, all the way out. Ah. Pause in peace here in that calm. Scan the body from the feet to the knees, to the sit bones, to the shoulders, through the palate, through the crown. As you connect to your inner smile, that playfulness, Let's have some fun standing now. So let's stand up. You'll face where you sit. No need to move your chair. 
So go ahead now and face your chair. You can walk up to it so the knees can tap. Take a deep inhale and let the arms come up. And then fold. Hands to your lap. Walk them down to the chair. From here, feel the stability through the hands as you walk the feet back, sharing in the workload here. Inhale, look back. Exhale, round into your cat and cow like this now. Inhale, nice and full and deep. And then exhale. And one more. And then come to a neutral spine looking down. Let's take our left foot forward, right underneath the chair. So you'll hop the other foot back. So look at that back foot. The heel is down, the toes are mainly forward. They can be out a little bit in a warrior one stance. You'll bend that front knee and tap the chair and then lengthen through that knee and then a little bend, and then lengthen, and one more, and you'll keep it bent this time. Coming into our um, side angle like this. So leave that left knee bent, left hand on the chair. Let the other hand come up and around and hang on to the back of the chair. Lengthen through the knee, let it come down and up, and then bend the knee, hang on to the chair. So we're going to float in and out of our triangle, like this, Trikonasana, all the way to side angle like this. Two more times, all the way up, look up or down, into your side angle. Last one. Notice how you feel and how your body is breathing and then go ahead and come up from here, walk up. From here, we're going to come into warrior two. So feel the back heel and open up that foot. Facing the long side of your mat, arms out, warrior two. Look forward, look back. Look forward now, come into reversed, Bring that back hand into the back leg. Feel that braking system, your wedge support. Front hand reaches up, bend the elbow, and then back. Reach the fingers back, that top hand. Come into your support of the leg, the hand into the leg, gazing at that top elbow. Take a deep inhale, deep exhale all the way down into your side angle. Hand comes down, all the way into that back of the chair. Then you'll lengthen through that front knee, both hands right down onto the chair and drag that front foot back so you can see the toes. Then go ahead and come into half moon standing balance by lifting that open hip, open foot, and then place it down. Two more like that. Both hands on the chair or take the right hand on that right leg as it comes up. Option now to bring that right hand all the way up and look out or up and then go ahead and come on down. Then bring that back foot up to meet the front Reach up, look up, palms come home again, home again. Pause there in peace and feel now for those subtle sensations, your guidance system. From the feet to the knees, knees to the hips, to the shoulders, to the middle of the brain. Ha! Ah. The other side is waiting patiently. Let's go ahead and circle the sun, reach up, look up. Go ahead and fold hands to the thighs, crawl down, hands right where we started on the chair. 
from here leave the right foot where it is so you can place it forward hop the other one back look at it and then feel now the heel press the toes come in that general direction of forward and then bend that front knee and lengthen a little bend and then lengthen and then one more leave it bent from here come into your um, extended side stretch here by bringing the arm to up and over to the back of the chair then we'll come into triangle lengthen that front leg reach up and then back to the chair bend that front knee and then all the way up maybe you look up or down and then back to the chair and then one more just like that let yourself flow in and out and then back to the chair from here let yourself come up into your warrior look at the back heel press into it toes point out look forward look back look forward bring the back hand to that back leg there's your wedge support front hand up 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 then reach it back come into the support of that back hand look to where the elbow is pointed take a deep breath and then fold all the way down into your side angle once again then go ahead and bring both hands to the chair look at that front foot bring it back so you can see the toes press into it come into your standing balance half moon on this side leave the hands where they are maybe lift that left leg place the hand right on top or on the next one either the arm can float up you look down or you can look at the wall or up and then all the way down <laughs> both hands on the chair back foot comes in you reach up look up palms come together then bring your back to the chair open up the legs just a wee bit so that you can straddle the chair and you can feel the inner knees inner legs a little press into the chair just notice that from here press into the heels and send the toes out and come into your goddess pose a little sitting and when you come up into your star arms nice and wide and then back into goddess you come up into star and one more into goddess this time let yourself rest and sit in your chair and I'll just bring mine so I can see you or you can see me <laughs> and from there you can either bring your blanket on your lap or your block bring your palms together clearing just feeling a little friction maybe a little round as we clear these conductors of healing that feed to our heart notice the warmth and then place the elbows either on the block or just simply cup the hands and bring the that right over the eyes and as you rest the head into the hands the eyes are closed notice the weight of the world gently pour off of those beautiful shoulders anything you're holding known or unknown let it melt and dissolve and then one more breath just like this as we pause in peace and ask for guidance drag the 
fingers over the face. Let any tension melt and dissolve away. Palms touch in deep appreciation for yourself for showing up. A light little bow as you pour this loving kindness out beyond these walls to all. Namaste. And thank you for your practice.